welcome to my physics class. In this lesson, we are going to look at uh, Form 1 work, and specifically, we are looking at pressure, and uh, that will be pressure in solids. The objectives for today are to define pressure, then we will state the SI unit of pressure, we will obtain a formula for pressure and use it in working out the pressure due to a solid. Let's move straight on to the first objective where we are defining pressure. Before we look at this statement, uh, let us look at the word pressure. The, the pressure comes from the word press. And you know to press something is to apply a force on uh, that particular item. So pressure is defined as the force acting normally per unit area. In physics and uh, mathematics, normal means at an angle of 90 or perpendicular to a surface or to a line. So a normal to a surface is a perpendicular. So in other words, we could say pressure is force acting or applied perpendicular to a particular surface. This can also be written in the form of a mathematical formula and therefore we can write pressure equal to force acting normally per unit area, we write force in Newton over area in square meter. So the formula for calculating pressure would be pressure equal to force divided by area and um, the standard unit for force is the Newton and the unit for area is square meter. This can also be written in symbols so that we have P equal to F divided by A. So we can, we can write that way in form of a formula. The SI unit can be obtained from here, that is Newton per meter squared, which we can also write using the negative index as uh, N M raised to the power of negative two. That's a different way of uh, writing the same. But it is also good to remember <coughs> that one Newton per meter squared, one Newton per meter squared is equivalent to one Pascal. So in working out a question, we can give the final answer in Pascals or in one <coughs> in Newton per meter squared. We now would like to look at an example based on uh, pressure due to a solid. So whenever we place an object on a surface, that object exerts a force on that surface. And we have just seen that whenever a force is exerted on a given area, pressure is created. So we want to look at an example where an object is placed on a surface and then we work out how much pressure that object is going to produce on that surface. A wooden block of mass 500 gram measures 20 centimeter by 10 centimeter by 5 centimeter. Calculate 
the pressure exerted by the block when resting on its smallest uh, surface we we can uh, picture the kind of block we are given we can see it is in the shape of a cuboid from the measurements we are given a rough sketch would be something like that where we have the longest side being 20 and then 10 centimeters and 5 centimeters for the shortest. It means then that the wooden block will be resting on this face. We can therefore work out that area and also convert this mass to weight. So we start by converting the mass to weight and we get F was 500 gram we need to change this to kilogram we divide by a thousand and multiply by 10 and this will give us 5 newton so we already know the weight of the block it is going to be 5 newton we can also work out the smallest area and that is going to be 10 centimeter by 5 centimeter we also need to work that out in uh, meter so we'll have 10 over 100 meter by 5 over 100 meter and this is 50 that is 5 divided by 1000 so we can have it as 0 0.005 square meters so it is possible now for us to work out the pressure exerted by this block from the formula we have force of our area this is going to give us 5 newton divided by 0 0.005 square meters and this will finally give us a thousand newton per meter squared we are going to stop there for now in our next lesson we are going to talk about greatest pressure and least pressure. We will be able to do a, a, a lot more examples. So subscribe so that you can join me in the next lesson as we move on in this topic.